Twitter. Twitter, that sounds a lot nicer than it is, isn't it? Because Twitter, birds Twitter, we like that. It shouldn't be called Twitter, should we? It should be called just drivel, splurge of shite. <laughs> Bilge, just bollocks. It should be called bollocks. It... <laughs> Are you on bollocks? Yeah, I love bollocks, me. <laughs> I can't get enough bollocks in my life. <laughs> I'm actually bollocking now as we speak, yeah. <laughs> oh, some bollocks has just come through. Brilliant, more bollocks. Can't talk to you, so I'm sending some more bollocks back. I can see why it's popular with celebrities, because it's perfect for people who can't shut the fuck up, <laughs> even when they're on their own. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm on my own. Don't like it. Thoughts are coming. Boo! <laughs> 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 That's how I imagine they do it. It's in a room going. <laughs> 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 I'm in a cafe having a panini. Well, waiting for it to cool down, LOL. <laughs> Hot and cheesy, yum yum. <laughs> What's the matter with them? It's like their heads are leaking, isn't it? <laughs> You've gone. Pff, pff, pff. You know, if I was on Twitter, I'd like to put something interesting on there. Just had my 17th wank of the day. <laughs> Always the best. <laughs> I'm off to the council tip to suck the gas out of old fridges. <laughs> and kill a seagull with a brick. <laughs> Toodaloo. And the amazing thing is these people have followers, don't they? People follow people on Twitter, which I think is madness, you know? Like, Jesus had followers, didn't he? <laughs> Jesus had... I mean, maybe that's why he said so much. You know, imagine every time you turn round, there's 5,000 people going... <laughs> you can't go... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just going for a bath. <laughs> <laughs> And I was thinking about Twittering, you know, when birds Twitter, we like it, don't we? we like it? We like it, I suppose, because we don't really understand what they're saying. No, no. Because probably what they're saying is not very nice, is it? They're probably going... <laughs> Your nest is shit. <laughs> You've got a shit nest, mate. <laughs> I've seen better nests than that in the bin. <laughs> they're not very funny birds. And you built your shit nest in a shit tree, haven't you? There's hardly leaves on it. Look at it, bark's all peeling off. You don't even look like a proper bird, do you? Your beak's too small for your head, your feathers are all over the place. You're a shit bird in a shit nest in a shit tree. <laughs> and when you leave your shitty nest, I'm gonna fly over there, I'm gonna ride your old lady, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to crash into your shitty nest. I'm going to shag your wife. Ah. <laughs> and that's bad news for you, buddy. You heard of bird flu. I've got chicken syphilis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not scientific, that, by the way. I haven't researched it. This is just guesswork. I'm just guessing this is what they say. I haven't spent any time researching it. Oh, Ethnic cleansing. That's another one, isn't it? Ethnic cleansing. <laughs> No, the first time I heard that, I didn't know what it was. I thought, it doesn't sound too bad, you know? I thought it sounded like someone's dry cleaned a poncho. You know, that's what I thought. <laughs> the reality of it is far too awful to contemplate, isn't it? It's, you know, I just thought, well, why did they come up with this word, you know? I hadn't, heard, I hadn't heard the phrase ethnic cleansing for a long time until I saw Nick Griffin, the BMP leader, when he was on Question Time, and he used it in some deranged capacity, because he's, he's a bit mental, isn't he? Yeah? He reckons the BMP aren't racist anymore. What are they then? A bit fussy. <laughs> But I was watching it when he was on there, and I thought, he's a very strange choice of leader for the BMP, isn't he, Nick Griffin? Very strange. Because if you're the leader of the BMP, effectively what you're saying is, I want more people in the country who look like me. And what he's got going on isn't a great look, is it? <laughs> I'd describe it as fire in Madame Tussauds. <laughs> he's got one shoulder up there, one down there, like that, hasn't he? Like that. He looks like a puppet, one of the strings has been cut. <laughs> He's got a bent nose, one eye going down the shops, the other one coming back with the change, isn't it? <laughs> I 
I'm just guessing, but I reckon difficult birth. <laughs> if you had to bring out a range of aftershave, be difficult birth by Nick Griffin. <laughs> you need loads. Someone, someone had a go at me about that piece of material. They said, oh, that's very clever, isn't it? Very clever, Sean. Having a go at someone because of how they look. Right. And I said, uh, well, that's what he does. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I went, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. I like it like that. Never done that before. Obviously, I feel good. <laughs> Actually, when he went on question time, there was loads of protesters outside the BBC, and I remember one of them got in front of the camera, and he sort of he got in front of the news camera, and he, and he, and he said, uh, I wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. And I remember thinking to myself at the time, I would. <laughs> wouldn't you? You wouldn't turn down an opportunity like that. <laughs> piss on Nick Griffin, let me through. <laughs> Are you a doctor? No, I need a piss. <laughs> it's one of the 30 things I wanted to do before I die. <laughs> I've swum with dolphins, I've been to the Grand Canyon. <sighs> I'd drink some petrol beforehand so I was ready. Ah. <laughs> I'd have a lovely long piss. Oh, yeah, I'd have what I call a service station piss. <laughs> and I'm standing in the busy urinals of a service station just going, ah! Oh! And I don't care who hears me. I look round, I go, 20 miles I had this bastard in. <laughs> it was like Nam back there, man. <laughs> yeah, the last 10 miles, I had the sun visor between my teeth. <laughs> I just pulled into the services, parked on a zebra crossing, and came out like, ah, ah. <laughs> Oh, shit, the sat nav, oh, bollocks. <laughs> I'd have a lovely long piss, yeah. But I just, what I do, I just miss a bit. You know, sometimes about every eighth piss just seems to go off to the left or the right, for some, <laughs> I don't know, inexplicable reason. I don't question it, I just go, that's how life is, you know? Go, oh, sorry, Nick, I missed. Too <laughs> good. What am I like? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, yeah. Oh, by the way, ambulance came. It was driven by this Asian fella. I didn't think you'd like that, so I sent him away. Um, <laughs> here we go. Because <laughs> there's, another, there's another phrase that does the opposite of what I was talking about, uh, you know, makes something sound much worse, which is that phrase, I really hate this phrase, broken Britain. I hate that phrase, right? It's obviously a very fatuous, stupid way to look up a country's problems, go, it's broken, it's broken, it's like a biscuit or a toy. It's freaking broken, you know? <laughs> what really annoys me about it is it does suggest that there was a time when this country was just dandy. <laughs> Everything was tickety-boo. <laughs> People were just walking around going, consider yourself. <laughs> oh, my meat. <laughs> oh, do, do, do. fish for sale. <laughs> People were just doing congas everywhere, like cha 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 Every night, I'd sit down, and there'd be a different version of mints in front of me, you know. And it was, for me, the, the 70s, just a river of mints going past my eyes <laughs> with different toppings, mashed potato, pastry. That was it, actually, just the two. <laughs> and then just open-top mints. And my mum couldn't be bothered to put anything on it, just have some mints and shut up. <laughs> I never drank a drop of water the entire decade. I, I swear, I never, ever drank water. I didn't start drinking water till 1995. <laughs> I drank squash, litres of the shit every day. <laughs> and this is before they regulated foods and drinks, you know. Christ knows what chemicals were in that squash. All I know is the first time I tried cocaine, I think to myself, seems familiar. <laughs> I spent the entire decade just running like this, like, <laughs> following the path of a bee that had been there earlier. 
And I never stopped talking. I was like a nine-year-old chat show host. Is that your bike? How many gears? Three, five, seven, nine, twelve. <laughs> What'd you get it for? Birthday, Christmas, find it, you buy it, you borrow it, your uncles, your aunts, your brothers, your sisters. Why are you wearing shorts? Not hot. We playing football, tennis, rugby, squash, badminton. <laughs> See the Flintstones last night. Good, wasn't it? Turned out Wilma's mum wasn't coming to stay. No need to panic after all. <laughs> You've got a front door key, I have, mind you, there's no point, because I have to stand on a wheelbarrow to reach it, and that's locked in the shed. Mental, isn't it? <laughs> Do you want to see a dead frog? There you go. Look. <laughs> I was a lunatic, just sweating mints and squash. <laughs> <laughs> I was deeply unhappy as well, deeply unhappy, because I'm constipated, just like everyone else in the country. Any time you had a fruit or a vegetable, it accidentally fell in the mincer. <laughs> whole country was constipated in the 70s. Everyone, the three-day week was nothing to do with labour relations. People just couldn't carry that around for five days. <laughs> it's terrible. In our bathroom, we used to have a light on a cord like that, and you pull the cord, and a fan used to come on. An electric fan used to go. <laughs> I naively thought that was for ventilation. It wasn't to the power cuts. I realised it was actually to muffle sound. Sounds my dad would make. Sounds you'd make if you had to push a double mattress up a spiral staircase. Come on, you bastard! Come on! <laughs> oh, Christ, my God! Come on, you bastard! Come on! Is nobody going to help me with this? <laughs> <laughs>